students from Bethesda Chevy Chase, National Cathedral, Dominion. Meet today on It's Academic. Everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, the world's longest running TV quiz show produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness and passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. Hey, thanks for joining us today. When we begin with a fast start in this round, questions are worth 10 points up or down, everybody. The first team to buzz in gets to answer. Contestants don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. Crossing T's. All your answers have double T's somewhere. That's two T's together, as in bottle. This is the largest city in Washington state. Yes, BCC. Seattle? Yes. American League baseball teams have this designated player in their lineups, National Cathedral. Hitter. Yeah. In the War of 1812, we were helped by this pirate. Bethesda. Answer in three, two, one, Jean Lafitte. The first name of this suffragette was Lucretia. Mott. Yes, Mott is right, BCC. In the orchestra, it's another name for the timpani. The answer is... Kettle drum. This Italian artist painted the birth of Venus. Yeah, BCC. In three, two, one, Botticelli. His 1912 mission reached the South Pole a month after Amundsen. BCC. Jackleton? No, Robert F. Scott. This was the U.S. project to build the first atomic bomb. Yes, Dominion. Man. Pardon me? Manhattan. Yep, you got it. This element has the chemical symbol Y. Yep, ECC, yttrium it is. And this agricultural crop was once king of the South. Yep, BCC, Cotton. Cotton is right, and that does it for our fast start round. Let's recap those scores. BCC, 110 points. National Cathedral, 110 points. And Dominion, 110 points. All right, let's meet these teams. We begin with Bethesda Chevy Chase from Bethesda, Maryland. Hey, Oliver, what should we know about you? Hi, I'm Oliver. I'm a sophomore from Bethesda Chevy Chase, and I play volleyball. You play volleyball? Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Like two years. Uh-huh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's a fun sport. It's especially fun on the beach, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to have you, Oliver. Hi, you Micah. Uh, hi, I'm Micah. I'm from Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. I'm a sophomore, and I do Mall United Nations. And what is it about Model United Nations that really draws you to it? I guess how interesting it is and how, how you can put yourselves in different shoes of other countries that you may not know so much about. Fascinating. Well, thanks so much. It's good to have you. And hello, Nathan. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm a senior at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. I play the clarinet and the saxophone. And uh, your music of preference when you play those instruments? Jazz. Yeah, nice. Do you have a favorite jazz person? Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman. He swung. <laughs> okay, guys, here's your first question. I pursue zebras. Forget zebras and see if you can find here the hidden name of what Middle Eastern canal that was opened in 1869. Suez? Correct. Serene, boisterous, tenacious. Someone who is very persistent can best be described by which of these adjectives? T tenacious? Yeah. To name both a mound in central Arizona and a lake in Oregon, at what word that identifies the bowl-shaped cavity at the top of a volcano? Mm -hmm. Crater. Crater it is. Injunction, bill of attainder, uh, certiorari. If you wanted to stop somebody from doing something, you might go to court and ask for which of these? Injunction. Injunction's right. God heals, but the doctor takes the fee. 
Doctors might object to this quote, which appears in Poor Richard's Almanac, the work of what colonial printer and statesman? Benjamin Franklin. Very good. Nicely done, BCC. 210 points. Let's meet the teeth from National Cathedral School in Washington, D.C. Hi, Stephanie. What should we know about you? Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm a senior at National Cathedral School, and I play the violin and dance. What kind of dance do you prefer? Uh, mostly ballet, but I love contemporary, too. And when you're dancing, what changes in you, if anything? Mm. I feel like time feels does feel a little bit different, and just feeling the music, um, yeah, it just makes me happy. Elevates you. Exactly. Beautiful. Good to have you, Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, Nalini, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Nalini. I'm a senior from National Cathedral, and uh, I'm a climber. You're a climber, rock climber. Yes. Do you do freestyle? Uh, no, not free soloing. <laughs> oh, um, good. Okay. Your yes. parents are who very happy yes. about that. Yes. So where do you climb? Um, inside and outside. I climb at Carter Rock State Park along the Potomac and then inside at some gyms. That's wonderful. It's I've only done it a couple of times, but really cool. Great that you do it. Good to have you. And hello, Chloe. Hi, I'm Chloe. I'm a sophomore at NCS. I play field hockey and I also play violin and viola. Oh, violin and viola. Yeah. Do you like one over the other? Um, well, I've been doing violin for much longer, so I think uh -huh. I prefer that more. <laughs> and, and kind of what I asked Stephanie, what is it about playing the violin that I would imagine allows you to transcend? Um, it's really nice being able to kind of make your own feelings with the music and uh, interpret the way you want. Beautiful. Well, I've got some questions for you guys. Supply mouthwash. I'll supply 20 points if you can find in this phrase the name of what Massachusetts colony set up by the Pilgrims in 1620. Plymouth. Yeah. Egregious, inadvertent, vociferous. If you accidentally made a mistake, you might be best describing your error with which of these adjectives? Inadvertent. Correct. Blank tongue, black lining. To get a phrase meaning eloquent and something that gives comfort in a bad situation, add what same precious metal whose chemical symbol is A-G? Silver. Yes. Saul, Samson, Solomon. Which of these biblical figures was best known for his wisdom? Solomon. Yeah. The eyes of this beast change color at his pleasure. Edward Topsell, a 17th century scholar, should have flunked zoology for making this remark about what African carnivore often described as laughing. Hyena? Yeah, it's hyena. Nicely done, National Cathedral. 210 points. And now to Dominion High School from Sterling, Virginia. Hello, Nadine. What should we know about you? Uh, hello, my name is Nadine. I'm a junior at Dominion High School, and I play piano. What kind of stuff do you play on piano? Uh, mostly classical music. And similar to the questions I asked them, how does it elevate you? What does it do when you play? Well, it mostly just makes me feel happy, and I really like playing piano for people. Oh, that's really nice to see how they're responding to it, and if it's the same way you feel it. Yes. Beautiful. Good to have you. Hello, Gabe. Uh, I'm Gabe. I'm a senior at Dominion High School, and I play the piano, and I'm in theater. What are you doing in theater? Uh, well, right now... Uh, there's a radio play, but I'm not in it for the academic team. Uh-huh. Well, the radio plays are really cool. They're fun. It's nice to emote and not have people see you, you know? <laughs> well, at least that was my experience in radio. Really good to have you, Gabe. And uh, Evie, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Hi, I'm Evie. I'm a freshman at Dominion High School, and I love to do Taekwondo. Taekwondo. How many years have you been doing it? Almost five years. Uh-huh. And what is it about Taekwondo that you like? I just, I love how fun it is and how competitive it can be. All right, guys, here is your first question. Write plans in Greek. You shouldn't need a foreign language to find here the hidden name of what capital city of Michigan? Answer? Lansing. It, yeah, Lansing, nice. Silly, illegal, possible. If you had a plan that was feasible, that plan could best be described by which of these adjectives? Possible. Yep. James Blank, Blank Kilmer. Please fill in the blanks with what same word to name the Irish author of Finnegan's Wake and the American who wrote the poem Trees. Keats. Nope, Joyce. Elk, Cheetah, Llama. Which one of these animals can run the fastest over a short period of time? Cheetah. Cheetah, it is. 
a geometropolitan predicament rather than a city. This is one description of what most populous city in California. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, it is nice. Dominion, 190 points. And that does it for the mix and match round. We have the picture perfect round next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Time for the picture perfect round. You guys ready to see some pictures? Oh, good. In this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. Once again, the first team to buzz in gets to answer. Many of these men trained at what New York Military Academy, which produced 400 West BCC? West Point. West Point is right. This is what river, the second longest in Africa? Any takers? Yes, Dominion. Congo. Yeah, nicely done. This nebula got its name from its resemblance to what flower associated with a 15th century English war? Yes, BCC. Rose. Yes, that is right. What is the slope of the line whose equation is shown here? National Cathedral. Two thirds. Yep. This Texas lake is named for what animal, the only Native American marsupial? National Cathedral. Beaver. No, it's a possum. Our American blank. Cousin. Yes, BCC. Cousin. You are right. I'll read the question, though. To complete the title of the play Abraham Lincoln was watching the night he was assassinated, place what family member in the blank? But of course, BCC, you apparently didn't need that information. Tsar Alexander I was a member of what Russian dynasty? Bethesda. Romanov? Yeah, very nice. This man became emperor of China at what young age? Six years less than the current U.S. minimum voting age. Bethesda. 12. Yes. This is an ancient carpet weaving technique, but you can give carpets an aged appearance by washing them in a solution of what element whose symbol is CL? Chlorine. Yep, BCC. Chlorine. Chlorine is right. This is one of the Sessa Islands, a group of 84 islands in what African lake, the largest on the continent? Yep, BCC. Victoria. Lake Victoria is right. And that is the end of the picture perfect round. How about we take a look at these scores? Bethesda Chevy Chase, 350 points. National Cathedral, 210 points. Dominion, 210 points. So these students are all awesome, you know that, but they've got some pretty awesome coaches and administrators who support them all of the time. Let's meet them. We begin with Bethesda Chevy Chase and Micah. Micah, who's with you? Uh, with us is our great principal, Dr. Mooney, and our wonderful and amazing coach, uh, Miss Lassar. What makes her a wonderful and amazing coach? She, support, she, she has supported us the whole way through and has just been very amazing. And you like her? Yeah. <laughs> very good. Great to have them. Over to National mm -hmm. Cathedral. Nalini, who's with you today? With us, we have our head of school, Dr. Eleanor Skelly, and one of our coaches, Dr. Uh, Reverend Eva Cavallari. Tell us about your coach. Um, Rev Cav stepped in last year when we were uh, actually running for a couple months without a coach. So we're deeply, deeply grateful for her stepping in and her supporting us throughout this whole time. And what is it about her style that really works for you guys? She's very open and very friendly with us. And so it, it makes it very easy for when, you know, we get questions wrong <laughs> as, as it happens. Well, it's good to have them here. And at Dominion, Gabe, who's with you guys? Uh, there's Miss Gilman, our coach, and also uh, an assistant principal. Mr. Allison. Awesome. And give us a little more information about your coach. Uh, Miss Gilliman is a really great coach, and uh, she's been with us for my entire high school career. What is the one quality that strikes you most when you think of her? Um, I'd say uh, intelligent. All right. Beautiful. 
Well, we're very happy, of course, to have all the coaches and administrators. It's really nice when everyone shows up for these teams. And now it's time for the packet round. In this round, we have three beautiful packets. Lovely, aren't they? One, two, and three. Um, Bethesda Chevy Chase will answer questions from one of them. First, National Cathedral gets to choose which packet it's going to be. Packet two. Packet two, right smack dab in the middle. And as you know, guys, questions are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer. If you get all of the questions right, do you know what you get? A? 25 point bonus. Yeah, that's better, I like that. All right, first question for you, Bethesda Chevy Chase. It was a 17th century chemist named Van Helmont who first used what now common word, identifying the state of matter that is neither solid nor liquid. Gas. That's it. Black Kettle was one of the chiefs of what Native American tribe whose name was given to the capital city of Wyoming? Cheyenne. Yes. While a prisoner of war, what 13th century Italian adventurer dictated to a cellmate a book about China where he had spent 17 years? Marco Polo. Marco Polo. It is. Here's your science question. Cryogenics, genetics, cybernetics. Which of these terms refers to the science of very low temperatures? Cryogenics. Correct. Prior to the Civil War, opposing generals Grant and Lee had served together under General Zachary Taylor during what war that began in 1846? Mexican-American War. That's it. Although the Spanish conquistador Pizarro gained fame for his exploits in Peru, he had once been a herder of what animals that ruled the barnyard in Orwell's novel Animal Farm? Pigs? Pigs, yes. Here's your math question. Solve for X. Answer? Three? Nope, it's one. One of those executed during the French Revolution was what scientist who had named oxygen and is considered the father of modern chemistry? Answer? Uh, Bohr? It Nope, it's Lavoisier. Bethesda Chevy Chase, 470 points. <laughs> Up next, National Cathedral Dominion. Will it be packet one or three? Three. Three. Guys, sometimes called the Pork and Beans War, the Aroostook War was a border dispute involving the region that is now what northernmost New England state. Maine. Maine, the beautiful Maine. A word meaning high crest is probably the origin of the name of what mountain range that runs the length of South America? The Andes. That's it. To photograph electron trails, physicist Charles Wilson invented a chamber named for what object that can be stratus or cumulus? Cloud chamber. Yeah. Here's your science question. Burbank, Torricelli, Higgs. Which of these scientists is credited with the invention of the first mercury barometer? Torricelli. Yeah, that's it. Though he's known for developing the steamboat, what American also built a submarine and torpedoes? Fulton. Fulton is right. In 1846, Sheriff Sam Staples locked up what Massachusetts writer who described his one-day imprisonment in his essay, Civil Disobedience? Thoreau? Yeah, nice. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. 51. 51 is correct. Though he clearly had a different ending in mind, what British general, who was also a successful playwright, found American forces hadn't read the scripts when they defeated him at the 1777 Battle of Saratoga? Answer is? Sherman? No, it's Burgoyne, but very nicely done, National Cathedral. 350 points. That leaves us with packet number one for Dominion. In the summer of 1936, temperatures as high as 110 degrees were recorded in what U.S. territory, now our northernmost state? Alaska. Alaska it is. Still popular after selling over 47 million copies, a 1947 children's book title says, Good night to what celestial body approximately 240,000 miles from Earth? 
Moon. Moon, and it's still one of my favorite books. It's just so sweet. Although the name of the composer Frédéric François Chopin sounds French, he was born in what Eastern European country whose capital is Warsaw? Poland. Poland is right. Here's your science question. Arthropoda, periphera, rhodophyta. Which of these phylums is a division in the plant and not the animal kingdom? Rhodophyta. You are right. The ancient Greek women, Clotho, Lachesis, and Atropos, have what collective name because they spun, measured, and cut the thread of life? The fates. Yes. The Sea and the Mirror by W.H. Auden was inspired by what Shakespeare drama with a stormy title and such stormy characters as Caliban? The Tempest. The Tempest is right. Here's your math question. Solve for X. Three. Three is right. In an example of free enterprise, sculptor James Tassie made and sold plaster medallions of what Scottish economist who wrote The Wealth of Nations? Adam Smith. Adam Smith is right. And with that dominion, you have got a 25-point bonus. Nicely done. Stick around. We have the grab bag coming up in just a moment. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know Dr. Seuss wrote green eggs and ham after betting that he could write a book of 50 words or less? He won, and so did the millions of children who loved that book. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. It is time for... The Grab Bag in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. First team to buzz in gets to answer. Here we go. 11 years after the Civil War ended, federal troops were still stationed in what southernmost Confederate state? BCC. Answer? Three, two, one. Florida. Yep. The 1993 movie Shadowlands cast a bright light on the life of what British author of the screw tape letters? The answer is C.S. Lewis. Choice. Winter drivers should know that the antifreeze they use today is most often glycogen, ethylene glycol, or methane. Anybody? Ethylene glycol. On your screens. Squirrels can be found almost everywhere, but not in what African island country where Anatan... Yes, please. Madagascar? Yes, very good. A Sanskrit term meaning... Home of Snow gives us what name for the snowy mountain range that includes National Cathedral? Himalaya. Yes, very good. In trigonometry, what is the cosine of 60 degrees? Dominion. Answer? Root 2 over 2. No, 0.5. Proving that not all job training is beneficial, what elderly villain from Oliver Twist trained a gang of young pickpockets? National Cathedral. Scrooge? No, Fagin. On your screens. Kicked Leonidas' butt at Thermopylae, Persians. Yes, BCC? Xerxes? Xerxes? Xerxes is right. Nice. In a now-forgotten uprising of the 1920s, revolutionaries tried to win independence for what M-initialed Balkans region? Yes, BCC? Answer. Three, two, one. Montenegro? No, Macedonia. Many lakes share the name of what mythical nymph who pined away for the love of Narcissus until only her voice remained? BCC? Echo it is, and that's the end of the game. The judges are going over the scores, and we will have the official scores for you in just a moment. So please, stay with well. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Many students are getting involved in their communities in important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. My name is Alexander Leedstrand. I'm currently a senior at Benjamin Banneker Academic High School. Recently, I got a position in politics working at a congressional club. There, I mostly help to keep the place running, but the most important thing about what I do is the up-close view I actually have into the political world. I've only been there a couple months, but being there in that time sparked a passion within me. There, I can finally imagine myself being the voice for the people that have none. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, 
learn, get involved, and make a difference. The scores are now official. We begin with National Cathedral School. Stephanie Nalini, Chloe, 350 points. From Sterling, Virginia, winning their 25-point bonus, Dominion High School, Nadine, Gabe, and Evie, 375 points. And coming back for the playoff, the gentlemen from Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Oliver, Micah, and Nathan, 530 points. Well done, guys. Stay with us because we will be right back. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness. And passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. We are so glad that you were with us today on It's Academic. Can't wait to see you next time. I'm Hillary Howard. See ya. Say bye, everybody. Bye.